If you want to do Vegas on a budget, one of the important things is uh, where you eat. That can uh, eat up a lot of your uh, your roll. It could be expensive depending on where you go. Uh, some of the finest restaurants can be found in Vegas, but fine often comes with a hefty price tag. So. One option that works uh, is you could just go to the food court. Most uh, hotel resorts have food courts. Now, it'll be a little pricier than what you're used to paying back home because it is in a resort at a destination like Las Vegas, but it'll still be a lot cheaper than a lot of the sit-down options, potentially. And uh, there are some good options in those food courts. You know, you can get an Einstein Brothers Bagels and the Excalibur. You can get Bananos Pizza pretty much all over the place. They've expanded nicely over the last few years, and they're doing quite well. You can find all sorts of different things. Um, but the quality can vary. There can be good to bad. Uh, the Pan-Asian Express, for example, uh, you get a small portion, and it's not great. So I tried that this trip at the uh, Mandalay Bay. Not, not, a, not a good use of funds when the food isn't good. <laughs> uh, so there are some good inexpensive options out there. Going one option from there, you've got Shake Shack or things like that, which is a casual fast food restaurant that has some of its own seating. And so uh, that price is, uh, is pretty compelling. Um, depending on where you go in the food court, it might even be a little cheaper than the food court. The quality of the food will be better, as will sort of the ambiance. You'll still sort of be doing a Vegas thing. So you do have that option. And then moving up from there, you want to start looking at, uh, yeah, inexpensive restaurants, lower-end buffets, and of course, the best way to save money is to eat free. Now, how do you do that? Well, if you play My Vegas, the game on Facebook, you can, uh, for absolutely nothing, you can earn loyalty points, which can be exchanged for free food. And so on this trip, I redeemed points to eat at the MGM Grand Buffet, and it didn't cost me a penny. Well, except for the tip that I left. But that's, of course, you know, at your own discretion. But uh, that is a lovely way of doing Vegas, where you can get some of the finer food uh, and not pay a thing. So if you want to do Vegas on a budget, on the cheap, that's a smart way of doing it. Um, you know, just be aware that a lot of those rewards on My Vegas they have something called premium rewards. And generally, you can only redeem three premium rewards within a three-month period. So keep that in mind. You're probably going to want to use one for a hotel, but then the other two you could use for uh, buffets, uh, dining credits. You could use them for shows, perhaps shows that include food like the Excaliburs, Tournament of Kings. So uh, if you want to do Vegas on the cheap, there's a lot of different ways to do it as long as you keep your mind open and you don't have to feel like you need to eat at Wolfgang pucks every night. There's a lot of really good options out there. So, uh, you know, here at Vacation Impossible, our philosophy often is if we can do it cheaper, that means we can do it more often. And we firmly believe here at Vacation Impossible that more travel is better, and we'll show you how. So make sure you're subscribed. If you like this video, found it helpful at all, give it a thumbs up. It helps other people find it too. It's not about feeding our egos. It's about getting our message out there that if you travel smart, you can travel more, and that's the better way to do it. So my question for you is, What's your secret cheap eats option in Las Vegas? Comment down below. I'd like to hear other suggestions. We might be coming back here annually and uh, want to try new things every time as much as possible and maybe go back to some of those old mainstays that we enjoy. So let us know. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You can watch tons of other awesome videos here on the channel. And of course, have notifications turned on. We do go live on location from time to time. That way you can be notified and join us in chat when we're uh, checking someplace out in real time. It's a whole lot of fun. Highly recommend. Ended. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.